Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Njoki, but you can call me Zippy. First of all, there is a bit of some construction on going out there and hopefully it's not going to be too noisy. <laughs> but if it's too noisy, you can always figure out what to do. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some 10 cool common stuff I think a natural should have. And these are just things I feel like you should have. It's not... I'm not saying that you must have them. I'm just saying that I feel like you should have them if you are a natural. Combs. This is an Afro comb and this is a... I don't know what this is called, but it's a three-sided comb, I guess. So this I use to fluff out my hair, to just give it a little volume. Don't use this comb to detangle your hair. This is used to give it volume and to fluff it out a bit. This comb, I have another like this, but a bit different. I don't know where it is. But this one, I use this side to detangle my hair. You see, it's really wide and they are quite nicely separated. And this other side, I believe it's for wigs. And this side, I never use this side. I, this comb, I only use this side to detangle my hair. Spray bottle. This is also something you need if you are a natural because uh, you you always need to moisturize your hair time and again you just spray in some water into your hair and Yeah, this one this one is not a real uh, Hair spray bottle like those ones uh, we see in supermarkets and places where they sell women stuff this one I There's a word I'm looking for. What is that word? I improvised <laughs> And it works pretty well, so I don't even think I'm going to buy those other spray bottles anytime soon because this one serves me well and it serves the purpose hairbrush so this is my cute tiny little hairbrush i use this when i am washing my hair just to brush it out to detangle it when it's wet it works pretty nicely i like it so you also need this if you don't have it already applicator bottle <laughs> This one again, you must have seen me use this quite a number of times in some of my videos. This one is not an applicator bottle like those ones that we buy in supermarkets. This one also I improvised. This was an oil that I bought in this bottle and I decided, you know what, this one looks nice and it can serve the purpose of an applicator bottle. So I decided I'll be using it as an applicator bottle and it works pretty nicely. Oh yeah, an applicator bottle you will need because of uh, hot oil treatments, oiling your scalp and stuff like that. When you want the oil specifically to go to your scalp, you will need an applicator bottle. So yes, you need this. Rattle comb. I have no idea why it's called a rattle comb, but yes. This is also something you will need because of parting your hair. Um, the reason why you we are encouraged to use this is because this one will define your lines more than than an afro comb you see but i've seen other people in salons and in some other places they sharpen up this one of these stick of an afro comb and they use it as a rattle comb so get you a rattle comb and don't use this to detangle your natural hair i repeat don't use this to detangle your natural hair it will break your hair badly badly natural hair clips since you know that i like to work in sections i put my hair into sections and just hold back one section with these clips just in order to give me uh, an ample time to work on one section so yes you kind of need this this is very by the way this is very important i never used to have this but then i ended up buying them because you just you need to have them yeah bobby pins bobby pins guys bobby pins if you are a natural and you like styling your hair which is obviously something <laughs> you do <laughs> when you are a natural you definitely you definitely cannot avoid styling your hair you will need bobby pins to just you know hold those styles into place you need this these things can easily get lost so you need to have somewhere you put them to keep them safe and you know just to avoid buying new ones when you have old ones brushes 
Um, so this brush I use when I apply gel on my hair just to lay it down nicely and then this other brush I use to lay down my edges you know just to make them look cute and stuff the other brushes that people buy they come in those uh, makeup brushes you can also use that one but this is economical <laughs> yeah and then this this is also something you just can't avoid <laughs> this you just can't avoid having this will hold back your hair when you are you know you just don't want your hair in your face or you just want to hold your hair down when you are wearing styles like pussy cuts or ponytails you need this also you need a crunchy i don't know where my crunchy is i can't seem to find it but yeah there's also that you need to have that bonnet sis don't sleep in stockings so you need a bonnet and the reason and also go for a satin bonnet this one is satin uh, the reason why you want to go for a satin bonnet is because when you're sleeping you will have little or no friction actually no friction this it's just no friction you will have no friction when you're wearing a satin bonnet and you know that friction makes your hair break also another reason why you should not sleep in stockings <laughs> we don't sleep in stockings please don't sleep in stockings the reason is that when you remove i don't know if you have experienced it but when you remove that stocking then you you'll see some hair is being pulled back by the stocking i don't know it's like some kind of static electricity <laughs> and, and physics kind of stuff just it's like your hair is attracted to that material i don't know what material it is but yes your hair is attracted to that material and when you remove it your hair is pulled with that uh, is pulled by that stocking that you're removing and then that will cause your hair breakage and hair breakage is just something you don't want we already talked about that that is something you don't want. so please get you a satin bonnet a comfortable satin bonnet please and well i can't forget to mention amira because when you're selling your hair you definitely want to see what you're doing so that you don't go out there and people are wondering didn't you look at yourself before you got out of your house you know <laughs> so get you also a mirror but i believe that is something you obviously have even if you're not a natural i think that is something that you have it's just a must have in life if there's something i mentioned and you don't have please get yourself one and if there's something i did not mention and you feel like a natural should also have kindly comment down below so that i also get myself one so that's it for this video guys see you in another video bye bye